I found a way to one hit all the bosses in Minecraft using the new mace weapon. Hello there, Ray here, and after much testing of this crazy weapon which can do more damage the farther you fall, and even prevents fall damage when you hit. So I came up with this way to one hit the ender dragon. All you have to do is sit around and wait on one of these pillars until you see the ender dragon start going down to perch at the exit end portal. Then you want to fly up with your elytra, get high enough up so that you can barely see the bounty boxes of the ender dragon. And then once the dragon stops moving in a circle and just sits there for a little while while it's throwing out its dragon's breath, hold a totem of undying in your offhand and then dive down and bash it on its head. If you do this correctly, you should instantly kill the dragon and your totem should pop but you should survive it. One hitting the wither is pretty easy as well. All you have to do is summon in a wither in a location where there's no mobs nearby. Then fly up with your elytra at least 100 blocks above where you summoned it in. Then just coast around a little bit until the wither is fully formed. And then zoom down onto it while holding your totem of undying and bonk it on the hit. And if you do miss, you can always just fly up again and try again. As long as the wither doesn't start targeting something, it won't move around that much. If any of these strategies change, I'll put the newest version in the description. You can even do these kills without a totem of undying. Just place down some water ahead of time. That way when you come in for the dive to kill the mob, you can land in the water and save yourself from dying. This is because despite the mace negating any fall damage, when it comes to elytra, you're not actually taking the fall damage, but you're dying from having too much kinetic energy. So the mace can't save you there. You could fly up and then just remove your elytra and then fall straight down onto the thing you want to kill. That takes a little bit more precision. The next one was a bit harder, so leave a like and consider subscribing. One hitting the warden is the most difficult. First you have to find a natural shrieker down in the deep dark biome. Then you have to dig a big tunnel upward at least over 120 blocks. Then we make a little pit here with some trap doors in it. Then we have an observer clock with another trap door that will attract the warden to this pit here. We want to make sure that the trap door is above the hole. Then we'll summon in a warden and the warden will eventually walk over here because it can hear these vibrations. Then it will fall in this pit here. Then we have to be very careful to sneak by him and then fly up into our hole. Once we get to the top, it might be best to set your bed up here so you respawn. Then we're going to fall down on top of the warden and hit it while it's directly below us. And then you can one hit the warden. But this is very difficult to do and might take a couple of tries. In case you die, you can always respawn and try again. More crazy glitches I found over the 15 years of playing this game in this playlist here. Appreciate this dedication. Join as a YouTube member of mine. Otherwise, share what I do with your favorite Minecrafter and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!